In the heart of a bustling city, where the scent of garlic wafted through the air and the hum of humanity echoed on every street, two unlikely souls were about to collide in the most unexpected way. Meet Victor, a centuries-old vampire with a penchant for dark alleyways and a wardrobe straight out of a gothic novel. And then there was Wendy, a passionate and outspoken vegan activist, with a heart full of compassion and a knack for stirring up plant-based culinary wonders. One fateful evening, as Victor skulked through the shadows, searching for his next meal, he happened upon a protest led by none other than Wendy herself. She was fervently advocating for animal rights, holding up a sign that read, Veggies, not victims. Intrigued by her fiery spirit and unconventional beauty, Victor found himself drawn to the crowd, though for reasons he couldn't quite understand. Their paths crossed again at a quirky cafe that specialized in vegan delights. Wendy was seated at a corner table, savoring a plate of kale chips, while Victor sat across the room, nursing a glass of O-negative, trying his best to blend in. Their eyes met, and it was as if fate had thrown them together in the midst of their mismatched worlds. Is that organic blood? Wendy quipped, a playful grin on her lips. Victor chuckled softly, surprised by her witty remark. You caught me. It's my guilty pleasure. As days turned into weeks, their interactions grew more frequent. Wendy found herself intrigued by Victor's old world charm, even though his dietary preferences gave her pause. Victor, on the other hand, was captivated by Wendy's unwavering dedication to her cause and her ability to whip up vegan dishes that even he couldn't resist sampling. One evening, Wendy invited Victor to join her at an animal sanctuary fundraiser. Surrounded by adorable rescued animals and compassionate souls, Victor couldn't help but be moved by the sense of community and love that enveloped the event. As they danced under the moonlit sky, Victor realized that he was falling for Wendy, Fangs, and all. Their love story became a whirlwind of hilarious and heartwarming moments. From Victor attempting to grow a tomato plant in his dimly lit lair to Wendy trying to convince him that garlic was more than just a vampire repellent, their quirks and differences only seemed to bring them closer. But their romance wasn't without its challenges. Victor struggled with his vampiric instincts, while Wendy found it hard to reconcile her beliefs with her growing affection for a creature of the night. Yet, through it all, their love endured, proving that even the most unlikely pairings could find a way to make it work. In a climactic showdown, Wendy's vegan friends and Victor's vampire cohorts found themselves in a comically absurd standoff, armed with garlic-laden quinoa and wooden stakes made from sustainably harvested wood. Amidst the chaos, Victor and Wendy stood side by side, facing the absurdity of their situation and realizing that love truly knew no bounds. And so, in a world where vampires and vegans seemed destined to be forever apart, Victor and Wendy proved that sometimes, the most unlikely love stories were the ones worth telling. As they exchanged garlic-infused vegan cupcakes and blood-red roses, their punchline of a love story continued to unfold, reminding everyone that laughter, acceptance, and a little sprinkle of garlic could truly conquer all.